What's up in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fan a pack of playing cards. Let's go. Hey guys, what is up? We're just chilling out here at the Treehouse Coffee Shop in uh, South Bank, Gray Street actually. Really cool place, I love it. It's a tight place, but it's got two levels. It's uh, very, very funky. And as always, as you know, live like heaven is on earth. Love like you have never been hurt. Laugh like no one else is listening. Sing as if no one can hear. Dance as if no one is watching. Dream like there are no impossibilities. Play like there are no winners. Give like you have give plenty. Do magic like you've never done magic before. And love and subscribe to my channel because that's the only channel on YouTube. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to fan a pack of playing cards. So that's what it looks like. This is how it's done. Really amazing thing. This actually took me about, honestly, about six months to learn. But of course, back when I learned it, there wasn't as amazing video resources as there were now. So, this is how you do it. You are going to spread the cards over a little bit. You're gonna bevel them a little bit over. So instead of straight up, like squared up, you're gonna bevel them a little bit to your right hand side. Aye? Okay, so from here, what you're gonna do, bevel them, bevel them a little bit over. Then, your thumb is gonna to come to about, maybe sort of just close to the left-hand side of the deck, and it's gonna come in this position right here. Okay, so you wanna start like this. Then, you're gonna be using your forefinger to basically spread out the cards, and it's gonna go in a clockwise position, and you're gonna try and make a semi-circle. That is basically the mechanics of the move. From there on, it's basically about a pressure thing. You wanna add a little bit of pressure to your thumb and a little bit of pressure to your forefinger and play with that. And then when you get it smoothly, you'll be able to spread out the cards and what's gonna happen is you're gonna be able to fan out the cards and you're gonna have a really nice semicircle. Of course, with newer cards, it's gonna spread and you should be able to see close to all of the pips on the card. And then closing up the deck, which is really cool, Few different ways you can pull your forefinger down and use your and basically with momentum just sort of close it by twirling your fingers in but what i do i bring my middle finger down and use my ring finger and middle finger and forefinger to just sort of turn the cards in and then i square up just like that so once again fan bevel thumb okay and then you're going to use your forefinger and apply pressure to all these four fingers here and you're gonna spread out and then you're gonna get a nice looking fan and this is impressive, especially if you can go up to someone and say, hey, do me a favor, grab a card, okay? And you can close up the deck after they grab it. That's it. Cheers, by the way, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you wanna see some more videos like this, just subscribe, that's the most important thing. If you're already a subscriber, like it, share it, add us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash free magic live. You might be wondering, JJ, where do I get the amazing free magic live cards? The link will be on this page or below. I'll put up the name of the store, the exact URL to go to. Also, if you like this kind of stuff, and really wanna learn some advanced tricks and advanced routines, and actually know my professional repertoire, the stuff I do in my corporate shows, I just released a training center called Pro Magic Live. If you haven't checked it out, please check it out, promagiclive.com. And that is it, check out Treehouse. It's a really cool, funky venue. It's right here in Brisbane in South Bank. And hopefully soon I'll be adventuring and traveling to other coffee shops, hopefully all around Australia and all, also all around the world. So that is it. Look forward to seeing you, boom, in the next video.